an argument is this? What kind of an argument is this that if they don't wear hijab, their families will be scared to sell them to send them to schools and colleges? You know, uniform is something that people have worn, whether in army, whether in air force, whether in schools. You know, and and decision of the women should be supreme. But that decision can be taken when they're adults in schools. There is a uniform, and there is that policy that has to be followed. What's the big deal that it is being made out of? Because this issue has come up in the Bombay High Court in 2003. It's come up in the Supreme Court in another matter, a pre-medical test matter in 2015. As the Supreme Court has said that there cannot be any special allowances uh, based on religion. So why is there such a hula la over over this hijab issue? Is it linked to politics, Dr. Anand Ramanathan? Uh, good evening, Navika. Good evening to all my fellow panelists. No, of course it is. Look, it's very simple. How can you call yourself secular and at the same time fight for religious dress codes to be allowed in schools? How can you call yourself objective when you're outraged on Karnataka but are totally silent on Kerala, where the government has banned wearing of hijab over SPC uniform, where the Kerala High Court has dismissed Muslim plea to wear hijab to school, and where the Kerala Muslim Education Society controlling 150 schools has banned niqab? Where are these leftist wokes and Islamists when it comes to Kerala? Sam Sung jata hai kya? Bas BJP rule Karnataka mein halla batana hai. But beyond the hypocrisy and selectivity, Navika, there is a broader issue here. And let me address that. Number one, I am clear. There should be one rule and no duplicity in implementing or following it. And when I say religious dress codes or symbols or identities, I mean all religions, no exception. So a school can ban hijab or a burqa because it has a specific rule of a uniform, but it cannot at the same time allow a tilak, kada, cross, turban. What about jenny who some may ask? Well, as long as these religious symbols are concealed and not exhibited. In any case, don't schools allow entry to circumcised boys? Circumcision is a religious commandment in Islam, but because it is concealed, praise the Lord, uh, it is all right. Number two, there is a legitimate concern of security because a burqa covers the face. So in this context, a hijab and full body covering can be allowed. Navika, whether you think it is misogynistic or regressive or a symbol of subjugation, Islam is very clear on how a woman should dress. Go. And tell the believing women to reduce their vision and guard their private parts, and to wrap their head covers over their chest, and not expose their adornment except to their husbands, fathers, or males having no physical desire. Twenty-four thirty-one. Al Ayuha Al Nabiyu Kul Liyaz Wajika Baba Natika Vanisa Al Muminina. Quote: O Prophet, tell your wives and your daughters and the women of the believers to bring down over themselves part of their outer garment that is more suitable that they will be known and not be abused. Thirty-three fifty-nine. So every true Muslim woman has to adhere to these dress codes of a burqa or a hijab if she believes in the commandments of Allah. And if a school allows for dress codes of identity of other religions, then it has to allow for Islam. As I said, no discrimination. But Navika. Right. By allowing religious dress codes, symbols, identities into educational institutions, oh. we are on the road, oh. sadly, to normalizing unjust, draconian, misogynistic, sexist, supremacist religious orders and commandments. Where would this end? Just ten seconds, Navika. I ask two simple questions. A. What if tomorrow the Jain student demands he be allowed entry without clothes because he fulfills the most beautiful of his religious philosophical commandments? And B. What if tomorrow some religious or its god or religion orders women to be shackled in ball and chain at all times? Would you demand that the school allow the rights the girls to handle and drag themselves in? Just answer these two questions. Respond, Mr. Sahid Aslam Pasa.